comfortable commentating <laughs> Mario. You don't by condone Mario cast. Exactly. Can't stand him. This man is actually <laughs> anti Mario. I think, think he, after Smash 4, you just like broke your copy of Sunshine in like half. I don't even own it. <laughs> Jesus. Or, no, works. actually, no. I do own it. But it's like it's somewhere in a college closet somewhere. I enjoyed Sunshine. So, JR so far, he's got a couple good parries, but um, he's kind of having trouble navigating around Dinsfire. Right. Dinsfire, not the best of uh, projectiles, but did he just try to do, like, something sexy? He got, like, a turnaround nair? Yeah, this man's this man is having problems getting around the projectile, but as soon as he got in, he was just like, all right, let me stop. Okay, <laughs> so you can cape Knight, so uh -huh. he was definitely in the right frame of mind, but Zelda can, like, delay it so mm -hmm. much that it's really hard to... You can't react to it, and you can't really read it. You just have to kind of either guess or just not try to reflect it and get the hell out of the way. Right. So it looks like Lone is taking a very good advantage of the fact that that neutral B gives you a little bit of invul. Mm -hmm. And JR's having some trouble with these throw combos. It's twice in a row we've seen him go for up tilt. That don't work no more, son. They took that <laughs> away from us. We got to struggle now for our damage. He, he didn't need it. But um, Yeah, now you just got to up air him like seven times in a row. It's just it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, uh, yeah, he's just having a little bit of trouble getting in. And once he gets in, he... I feel like he gets maybe a hit or something, but then he either gets like Nehru'd out or... Yeah, and that's kind of what Zelda does. She's really good with uh, with the fact that Knight is, might, might be slow, might not have the best hitbox, mm -hmm. but it is a wall. It is literally a wall that you cannot pass. Oof. And that back air is pretty good if you're trying to jump in and approach constantly. So three stocks to one. 100% though, so any strong hit that, uh, that JR gets might end it. But the question is, is he ever going to get that hit? It looks like the majority of these attacks that he's hitting are neutral airs or down tilts. So he hasn't really ever had the opportunity to throw out anything strong. Now we see the forward smashes come out, but those might end it. But, dog, you got to set that up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that was not the move. Neutral air dodge would have been the move, but, uh -huh. but directional air dodge, Mario. Mario's aerial drift isn't as good as people think it is. That might be it, actually. Anymore. Yeah, yep, there that it is. Oh, no. Well, he, had it. he went way too low anyway. Yeah, he had the jump, but the problem really is that um, Din's fire basically requires you to either cape or dodge. Mm -hmm. He dodged because he didn't have confidence in his ability to snuff out the time of the cape. And, uh, yeah, directional so, air so dodges the, are problematic. So the cape just takes the uh, hitbox away from it. Yeah. Okay. It does make it yours, too. So if Zelda's, like, trying to Din's fire up close for some reason, mm -hmm. she will get hit. But okay. uh, I can't see this man trying that. That right. was uh, a commanding three-stock. Dude clearly has a good command of his character. So where we're going is Battlefield is going to be banned against Mario for all time. So looks like <laughs> Lilat is also going to be banned for all time. So it looks like Town is our new stage. All right. Which is actually kind of bad for Mario because uh -oh. we have no consistency in here. Oh, my Lord. Not a pro controller. Oh, there we go. We good. I don't know. But, yeah, as I was saying, Sakurai can't really decide on these things. So for Town and City, it is the tallest stage in the game down yep. from the shortest. So, uh, yeah, you have a triplat configuration that doesn't really help out Mario that much. But it is a little bit bigger, so it'll give him a little bit more space. He won't necessarily be like forced to run in. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like that's more ground for him to cover when trying to get in on uh, this Zelda. Exactly. Yeah, it's kind of a little of each. And he just seems to not have a full command over when he has to stop comboing Zelda. That I believe it's like Din's is either frame one or frame three. It's, it's really quick. Not Din's, excuse me. Uh, uh, Nehru's. Nehru's, yeah, yeah exactly. I blinked on it. Come on, Brack. Come on, So far, Lone Dude basically just more of the same here. Look at that. One hit, and he goes for something that's unsafe. Lone immediately neutral bees and then knocks J uh, JR away. JR has to snuff that out. Like That, that option is never going to change. Yep. If he, next time, just down tilts and then waits, you just get a re-grab free. Oh, man. And he didn't even see that last in fire was coming. That hit, was pretty sneaky. by the night. There and again, is. grab the getup. Good stuff by Lone. He is doing a great job keeping JR in disadvantageous positions here. And the problem, I feel like the problem JR is having is, isn't is even so much getting in as much it is, as it is not knowing what to do once he gets in. True. He's not at all converting what he needs to. Like Mar Mario is a character I feel nowadays. He doesn't have that leeway. In Smash 4, if you mess up a combo, so what? You're yeah. going to get another one. Oh, man. That was, triple okay, jab. That was a nice follow-up. He actually got the lock, but instead yeah. of going for anything else, he went with the triple jab. And that was the time to do something fancy, JR. You've been going for it all match. Yeah, you could have <laughs> got a, um, like a witch, I'm going to call it, a falling down air. Or you could have gone for uh, a down smash there. All right, do it again. No, he missed. 
So that's probably one of the bigger buffs Zelda's gotten is that uh, Din's no longer sends her into Helpless State, so she can actually just go out there. She, sore she sorely needed that. Yeah. That was so ridiculous. That was a very good buff. Just, just a smart buff. Oh. He got it again, but then he went for triple jab. He had a kill there. I thought the up smash was coming. And yeah, then, exactly. So the, I just saw him with up smash. I can't tell if that was her invincibility or it just doesn't have a huge hitbox on the front anymore. He no longer has a huge hitbox on the front anymore. Oh they took that God. away from him. Bless up. You have to reverse it. <laughs> All right. Black Frost <laughs> coming in saying that if, he's, if JR ain't going to be fancy with this suit and tie here, he's going to get that outfit taken away from him. <laughs> this man said, I gotta, I'm got i just fancy so I can style on him. Where's the style, though? That's you see the break dance right there. Flood is a great tool against Zelda because, I mean, she's got no aerial drift at all, and then that up doesn't really help too much. The muffed recovery. Is, yeah. yeah. So just, just go ahead and keep that girl wet, and, uh, you know, maybe she'll go away. But, AJR, we, uh, we take those. We needed that one stock. Yes, sir. No six stock. So now I just got to get the – there we go. Now the JV's gone. All right. <laughs> Black Frost saying he's safe for now. <laughs> <laughs> So one thing I think that's causing JR a bit of a problem here is he isn't really fast following his aerials. Like mm. that's, that's one thing that, that's interesting. He's doing these like full hop approaches, and those are good every now and then, but as a, as a rule, you kind of want to get back down to the grounds because Zelda below you is kind of rough. Yeah. All right, Knight facing the wrong way, so Lone has to just bail out with the up B. And there's Pray. so many cool things that she can do with the Knight now. Mm -hmm. I've see, I've already seen uh, Lone do quite a few. You can Knight and cover it with a, di with a uh, Dins Fire. Uh, night one way and then like four yours win the other way mm -hmm. just covering all types of zoning options it kind of reminds me of plants cloud mm -hmm. and then the night is just so big that sometimes it obscures what zelda's trying to do right is she dead no oh yes but that great trade. two frame good stuff yeah down smash now two frames and is really good for that tool there and just like that jr's back in this man yeah. if he if he can you know find his footing and get back in this that was a grab then he can be worthy of this outfit yeah, so there you go, breaking <laughs> out of the up tilt. You saw it come out once, and then Lone just saying, nah, dog, you're going to have to make sure them's true, though. Okay, oh. the backswing. I don't think oh. he has a jump. Oh, I thought that was going to finish him. Same. I, I held my breath right there. Now you're just teleporting on him. See, if he fast fell that nair, I think he would have gotten more out of it. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. he just kind of looks at him. Wow. JR having a bit of a brain fart right there. He just can't think of what to do. He just wanted to get, to, he just wanted to get in her face. Oof, Ooh, good forward tilt. Yeah, that should do it. So, yeah, nice try to come back there. JR definitely made some adjustments between game one and two to, like, bring it back a wee bit, but uh, just not quite enough as the slow and steady play of Lone will take that game. I got called. Oh, cut into us. All right. All right. All right, ladies and gents, well, I hope you're enjoying this content. We always try to do the best here and do it right. This is my man, Cold Weather. What up? And I am Scabs, as always, joining you on the JTS stream here. Got to give some good commentary for the people. We have a 150-man local. This is the <laughs> new normal. Yes. If you want to come out and play some Smash, just pick a random night, come to Xanadu. There's probably going to be at least 30 people here grinding. This is absolutely insane. The community is just... Exploding, it's particularly booming. after greet, uh, after a glitch, rather. Yes, we've had Probably like picked up a lot of uh, a lot of newcomers after glitch. Exactly. Yeah. Now you have people that just like they saw the fact that hey, we can take 600 people here. Mm -hmm. So what are they going to do in another two months? Pounds. We're going to try <laughs> to get 2,000 people in here. Try to do it right. Yep. So it looks like round one is just about good to go here. I'm looking at to see if there are any big upsets. I'm not seeing too much. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is actually just one pool. I'm trying to reload okay. here. The, the, the wireless in here is yeah. absolutely terrible. That's the one thing Xanadu needs. They got to go ahead and get them like gaming routers. They got to get a Linksys sponsorship or something else. Like that. <laughs> That'd be cool. But we've got a couple like really interesting pools. Like Lost in Time is is needed to make it out, which is he's been doing a lot of work. Yes, he with has. That puff. We have Nature who switched to Wolf apparently because everybody in this goddamn region's going Wolf. Bunch Se of wolves. I blame Seagull Joe. No, I didn't even start because Seagull said. Seagull was all like, I'm going to be a wolf no matter what. This character is going to be garbage. Wolf, I'm still... Like, he was loyal. He's just a, a character loyalist. It, it started when, like, Dexter and then Pink... Because Dexter was, wasn't a spacey. Like, nope. why are you a wolf now? It's just like... Then everybody... Then EMP... Man, oh EMP God. cycled through all the characters because that's how EMP Yeah, that man is. took a tour of the top tiers. This, just man, like, mm. this man said, I'm a Krom, Lucina... Fox Wolf Mane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this man literally was just like, listen, they all feel good. Which one's the best, though? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then he landed on Wolf, which